Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. In the previous episode, we were able to knock out the very first dungeon here in the Dark World, which means we're now going to head to the middle of your screen and then go straight down to the bottom where number two is at. Because, I mean, while we do know that, that number one, number one is where all the fun has just begun, um, number two is, in fact, the place where the rooster says cock-a-doodle-doodle-doo, and, uh, those are, those are wise words that we can all live by in this country. I mean, if you choose not to, then that's, that's fine. I mean, we do live in a place where, where choice is certainly the soup of the day, but they are wise words to live by. I mean, I mean, Billy Madison was a wise man. He was able to, you know, take over a company and immediately rescind control of it over to, over to, uh, over to, uh, over to Carl. But that's not the point. The point is that he's a smart man. He knows what to do in, in situations that call for it. What the hell's in here? One of these places, man. I don't need to be. Yeah, it is. It is a dangerous world out there. But I don't need you to sell me a shield for fifty fucking, you know green things that are rupees, but I'm calling them green things. <laughs> you know, the green boys. They wear those green things. You know, it's funny. When they stand in front of bushes, I can't see them. Um, where are we going again? Oh, yeah, we gotta go down here. Okay, that's right. I, I forget. I, I feel like my brain's just not working all the time. Like, I know, I know what's coming right now. I, I can feel myself getting sick again. Like, this is, it's really bad, man. I, I've already got the, I've got the, I've got the sore feeling building up in my throat, which is fucking stupid, because I've been, I have been sick more times this year than I have in a long time. But I've been running myself so ragged, um, you know, this year in, in doing those types of things. Like, just the, in this last week, I, I mean, I've already told you, I've gone to Seattle twice, and I've been going to bed so much later than normal. And it's, it's driving me bonkers, man. It's just like, I'm going to bed at 5.30 in the morning, 4.30 in the morning, 3.30. I'm doing it all the time. Like, I'm used to doing, you know, 1.30 or 2 in the morning fairly often. Oh, no! Shit, we need the we need the flippers before we can do this, isn't it? Oh, no. And it is I! Root beer, dude. Uh, objects exist simultaneously in both worlds with similar shapes. If the form of a thing changes, it will affect the shape of its twin in the other world. That has not a ton to do with the fact that you need to go and get the flippers before you can progress on with this, but hey, I'll tell you things you gotta hear. Um, one thing we need to do is we definitely need to go in... Actually, that what he said actually makes perfect sense, because we need to go, we need to go into the other place. Not with that button. But we need to go in the other world, and we need to do the thing with the water control so that we can oh jeez okay i didn't need the i didn't need you to violate my damn no no square right there god <laughs> however i'll bet that was really uncomfortable for him he was probably like what the fuck <laughs> what, where did that guy come from it's like i almost did horrible things to him I mean, that was we were basically like almost uh, we were almost like bumping and grinding on each other inside of a inside of a dark and very uh, poorly lit nightclub or something. Oh, I just did the same fucking thing. <sighs> you're really you're really doing it, Adam. You're you're really you're really getting the job done here. Okay, let's. There we go. I don't know why that was so hard for me. I think it's just because the the sickness. Is, is slowly getting me. That's definitely the one. I always go pull the other one, which is just a fucking snake trap. It's actually pretty stupid, but it's besides the point. Oh, oh god, I just threw up my mouth a little bit. Ugh. Hey, look at what we got here. Ah! Okay, okay, all right, hold on. We found a piece of heart, and we've also got a, we got this. <laughs> oh, I've got it in my hands now. We've got very specific and nope. I apparently, you know, saved the game in a very strange place. But, ooh, 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 uh. We need to take this. We gotta take this fucking fish all the way to, uh, all the way to Kakariko Village, if I remember correctly. 
We gotta give it to the... Oh shit, I can't go that way. Can I throw this thing down and will it... Will I get, you know, persecuted to the full extent of the law if I do that? I don't feel like I would. Alright, let's do it. Yep, alright. Let's pick this thing up and throw it. And then let's pick him back up. Nope, nope, nope. Come back here! Come back here! Thank you. Um... But yeah, dude, I just, I, I feel like just my body is getting worn down again, and so, you know, in order for me to be able to, to, uh, compensate for the damage done, I think after this video is over, I'm probably gonna, you know, get it uploaded and edited and all that stuff, and then I'm going straight to bed. <laughs> I can say that now, but more than likely I'm gonna end up, you know, staying up too late again, and it's gonna be its own set of problems all over. But I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a legitimate attempt at trying to go to bed earlier. Uh, probably right after I also take my my giant you know wave of of supplements to help uh, you know kind of throw the fortification points into my immune system tree because it is in dire need of it. I gotta you know go take some super high doses of vitamin C uh, for what it's worth. I mean you can't really prevent stuff with vitamin C, but it, it does it certainly does help. Don't let people tell you that vitamin C is just fucking smoke and mirrors. Because it is, it is definitely not that. Oh, yeah, it it definitely does. I didn't mean to throw that at you, and that's definitely all we got out of that. All right. Well, <laughs> I thought we got a jar from him out of that. Um, yeah, I'll definitely take one. Okay. All right. Hey. Okay. So that's how we get the jar. You just buy it from him. Well, that's fine. I mean, I guess the the thing with the the thing with the fish is definitely optional, which it it doesn't really matter. I'm I'm at least glad that I participated. You know, we got the points for it. It's all good. But yeah, I'm definitely gonna do. Definitely gonna go for the vitamin C. Definitely gonna go for some oil of oregano. As horrible as that tastes, I'll probably even do like some uh, some garlic, because garlic not only does it ward off you know vampires and other crazy shit in your life, but it also is very efficient. Um, at, you know, killing, uh, bacteria and, and, uh, microbes and whatnot. I'm also thinking about maybe taking a couple extra things I don't normally take that often. I'm thinking, uh, maybe I might throw in, like, some, some, uh, Usnea and Red Clover. Going really on the, on the herb track there. Now, those are really good. Uh, Red Clover's really good for purifying the blood. And, uh, I mean, hey, I'm all about purifying the blood. It's kind of my kind of my thing, I guess. Even though I've not really had to ever have a reason to do that, but so that's the thing. And then I think uh, one thing I'm gonna take that I haven't really done in a long time is I'm gonna take a product called Beta Glucan, which uh, for those of you who don't know what the hell that is, welcome to an impromptu episode of uh, Adam's Health Tips, where you learn shit whether you like it or not. It's gotta be like one of the first ones of these that I've done in I don't know, probably like nine months or so. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, for those of you who don't know what beta glucan is, it is a it's a it's a wonderfully efficient uh, immune system booster that is it's a it's cultured out of I think it's it, they culture it out of the cell wall of baker's yeast I think it is it's called um, I think it's called the the bacteria is called Saccharomyces cerevisiae and it is great it is it is very very good for helping with. Uh, keeping your immune system rolling. I actually had to use it the last time that I got sick, and it, it definitely worked out for me. I was, that's uh, back when I was dealing with uh, a lot of pretty, uh, pretty hard, you know, sore throat stuff. It was getting into my, damn it, it was uh, getting into my chest, and it was just getting worse and worse and worse, and I was really taking heavy doses of that, like close to 200 milligrams, and that really helped out a bunch, you know, in tandem with a lot of your classics like Echinacea and Golden Seal, uh, Colloidal Silver, um, you know, steady doses of probiotics and just some of your other natural, um, you know, bacteria killers and what have you. And those are, those are my dogs, man. When, whenever you feel like you're, you're coming down with anything, you gotta go straight for it. And it, uh, it never disappoints. It never disappoints. You may still get sick overall, but the duration of which you have that uh, it will always be lower, so that's I mean, that's really all you can ask for in a, in a real dog-eat-dog -dog world like this. How the fuck do I get over here? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Was I not just over there a minute ago? I thought I had it. Oh, I just took the wrong, the wrong, oh god, dude, give me a fucking break with this. 
Like, how weird is this little creek here that there's just, like, certain areas that are just so much more shallow than the rest of it? So let me walk through the whole fucking thing. There we go. The man. The man. The myth. The legend. The man also with absolutely no pupils. Whoa! What do you want, little man? Do you have something to ask me? <laughs> I just... Well, I just dropped by. Great! Whenever you see my fishy face, you are welcome here. Don't worry about all the people on the other side of the... On the other side of the lake that are totally throwing fireballs at your fucking face. They're just, uh... Well, they're racist. I mean, I don't really have any control over over any of that. Oh, come on. Really? Really? I was just trying to be a nice guy, and now you gotta sit here and, and pull some shit like this? Now I gotta go off screen? Make it go scroll so that... Oh my god. They're killing me right now with this. Do I seriously have to go all the way out of this area just to come back into it to make him show up again? I think that's a pretty... I think that's pretty, pretty fucked up. Now that just doesn't seem, doesn't seem right at all. Do I seriously have to go all the way back here? That seems ridiculous. <laughs> uh, I'll find out later that I didn't have to do that at all, but, you know, that's besides the point. I'm doing it just to be, you know, on the safe side of, of, of the world here. But, yeah, so I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna allow myself to fall victim to the old sickness parade. It's just not going to happen. However, I'm really excited about one thing. Um, this, has, this is on a totally separate topic, but for the, actually for those of you that, that have been uh, following the uh, All the Good Names Are Gone podcast, you guys definitely know this is already a thing that's going on, but I, um, I actually, on Friday night, I purchased a new piece of audio equipment that I'm waiting, to, that I'm waiting for it to arrive, um, and when it gets here, it's going to be super awesome, because not only am I going to use it for the podcast, but I'm going to use it here, and it's going to make my audio quality go up a whole bunch. It's going to be super, super cool. Um, I definitely have 500 rupees. Don't worry about it, man. You just you, you give me you give me exactly what I need, and, and we'll be all good. There we go. All right, we're awesome. I definitely bought Zor's flippers, as the slot machine of my wallet is now fucking toast. There we go. All right. This is fantastic. Now, what I would really like is that little heart container that's over here. Ha ha ha! Yes! And it totally refilled the whole damn thing. Even better. Um, but yeah, I totally, I totally uh, bought a, oh, I totally bought a brand new microphone. And I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am for that because I mean, not like my my uh, blue snowflake that I've been using for uh, yeah, about a about a year, maybe actually for about a couple of years now. Um, I mean, it's not like it's been bad. I, I've actually really enjoyed this thing so far, but um, I even more so am excited for uh, having better audio quality in general. It'll be nice to actually have a super super legit microphone. That's that's really what I'm looking forward to. Okay, we're actually pretty close. We just need to go over this way. There we go. Come on, baby. Yeah, use them Michael Phelps legs. There we go. If we can actually get up from over in this way, that would be pretty cool. There we go. That's exactly what I wanted. We can actually, uh, yeah, we'll have to go get that little thing at some point, too. Yeah. Okay, alright, enough, enough, stop following me, god, you, you stalking assholes, just leave me, leave me be, I got places to go, but yeah, I'm, I'm really pumped about it. it, it definitely, it definitely cost a pretty penny, I mean, when I got this, uh, when I got this little snowflake mic, it was, it was only about like 50 bucks, and I mean, it's definitely, it's done really well, I mean, I, I'm not gonna say that it was like a poor purchase, I, I've really enjoyed what it's done, but I think you know I'm at a I'm at a crossroads right now where I think that it would be a very wise choice in my career to uh, you know once again increase my audio quality, to try to do the the most that I can do to uh, make my audio quality better, to make you know the quality of my videos better, and I think that that's going to be a really great place to start because you know it's not like my audio quality is bad by any stretch. Why is there still no water here? Did we not? Hmm. 
I mean, I could have sworn that I did the thing with the water. Apparently, they uh, they think I'm lying. Well, let's just go do it again. Maybe, uh, oh, it looks like, yeah, it just looks like it refilled itself. Well, if that's how you're going to act, then we're just going to go do it again. I, mean, I guess we probably gave it enough time to whoever was overseeing that just decided, hey, you know, <laughs> I don't want it to be like that. I'm going to go close the damn gate. Throw in the damn towel! <laughs> no, we're not going to throw in the... Whoa! What the... Oh, it's the damn rewind button again? God damn it. <laughs> well, that was stupid. It's fine. It's not really a big deal. I just, uh, I leaned up against my desk and I accidentally uh, pushed the button in. I just need to, like, unbind that key. The thing has gotten me into trouble so many times <laughs> over the course of everything. But yeah, as, as I was saying, like, it, it'll be really cool to have, like, even more crispy audio, have better quality sounding audio in general. It, it's it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. So it should be getting here this week, actually. Uh, it should I should have that thing in hand within, realistically, the next couple of days. I'll have to go, uh, I'll have to go to Guitar Center when it comes in, and, uh, and then we'll be good to go from there. I'm just really excited that I get to fiddle around and actually have, like, a fully legit mic uh, that actually has... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, did a chest come in? I thought I heard that. But where? Where? Maybe it's actually just at the end of the room. Probably should have thought about that, and yeah, definitely right there. <laughs> But yeah, it'll actually, I'll actually have like a fully legit mic that actually has, um, I'll actually have like a little M box to, uh, you know, to have it be connected to. So it's not just going to be like a little USB joint. It's going to be like a full on legitimate microphone that I'm going to have its own like dedicated program to be used instead of, you know, using Audacity <laughs> like I've been using for the last couple of years. I mean, not again, not like Audacity is bad. It's not like a great, great program. But it's not a terrible one either. I mean, it's definitely been, you know, perfectly efficient for what I've been using it for all this time. But, you know, having being able to use a more legitimate one, I think, would be certainly a plus uh, that I could hang my hat on. And uh, I just got a text from Matt just a second ago. And again, by the way, if for those of you that, that watch my Pokemon video where I talked about his insane amount of luck that transcends time and space, and, and gets into my dreamscape somehow. He just sent me a text. And this is the second time he sent me a text about this today, but he uh, he just won like 300 and f he just won $350 at the casino where just like a few hours ago he told me that he won $170 on slots. So this fucker won two more times. <laughs> two more times at the casino in the last like 6 hours. What an asshole. I mean, I'm, I'm excited for him because that's totally, you know, close to... I mean, that's over 500 bucks in a day off of minimal money. <laughs> like, I mean, if I could do that every day for the rest of my life, I'd never work another day in, in my existence. But alas, here I am. My, my uh, financial world is in a fucking tailspin. And, <laughs> and that's just the way... That's just the way it is uh, by Tupac, which is not the name of a song, but that is... Um, that is just, uh, the lyrics, the lyric of one of his songs, which I believe was actually from Changes. Was it? Da -na -na, da -na -na, da -na -na. That's just the way it is. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is from Changes. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's your, your daily dose of Adam singing horribly. And, uh, and there you have it. All right, well, you know what? We're sitting on 19 minutes. Let's at least get here into the main hub. Oh, we're gonna get the hook shot in here. Oh, man, I love the hook shot. I am a man that loves that loves me some, some shot of the hook, you know? We're just gonna have to, you know, get to that point because here it is. It's, uh, I mean, this is, this is exactly what I was talking about last episode. They put this thing right out in the fucking middle for you. At least this one isn't as much of, you know, it's not as much of an egregious, just like, eh, well, what the fuck ever. At least with this one, you're, you walk in here and you're just like, oh my god, there are so many platforms in here. <laughs> what the hell am I supposed to do about this? But then eventually you, you know, kind of scour the rooms and you're like, oh yeah, it's really not that hard to find. In the grand scheme of it all, 
as soon as we get into a room that's uh, kind of a little bit of a safe haven, I think we'll, we'll call it good for the evening, because the last thing that I want to do right now is, is stress out my voice a little bit more. I'm starting to feel it a little bit extra um, since I started this episode, so I think I may have to may have to call it an eve here pretty pretty quick so I can go catch myself some uh, uppercase and lowercase z's uh, in in sequence um, and I did I just need to like turn my damn phone off because I've been because I don't get internet in my room really I mean I could use my phone as like a as like a wireless uh, you know hotspot or something but the connection's still not great I've been fucking watching anime in there late at night when I go to bed. I totally knocked out uh, the entire new season of D. Greyman, which uh, was awesome. It was super cool. Had to watch the final episode of it in Japanese because they uh, hadn't released the, the dubbed version of it yet, but it was good. It was really short, though. It was only, uh, only 13 episodes, which was kind of a bummer. But, eh, what do you do? What do you do? It was, it was good. And so, after that, I've been trying to move on to find another thing. I also watched the first episode of Luke Cage. Holy shit. <laughs> that was awesome. Pe people were not kidding when they said that that show is fucking wild. I, the, I won't spoil too much, but that first fight scene, I mean, it's the one that they had on the, in the commercial for it, so I'm not, I'm really, truthfully not spoiling it for you. Um, but that first fight scene in, like, the, the little, like, uh, oriental restaurant is so sick. <laughs> like, the, the guy that goes up to punch him, that's supposed to be, like, the super tough guy, and he goes to punch him, and he just fucking just completely like compresses his wrist and the bone pops out of the skin you're just like whoa oh man that's nasty it's so tight though if anybody hasn't watched that show yet i oh sorry i highly advise it that first episode is all you really need for it to sell you it, it's good it's very good it's uh, very violent too uh, they, people were not kidding when they said that uh, daredevil um more or less pretty much pales in comparison you know, whether or not Wilson Fisk is stepping on a dude's face in front of his Tahoe or whatever, it's it's not the same. But hey, we're going to stop right here, my friends, because I, I, I need to wrap this thing up so I can go to bed and, uh, and you know, kick this whole pre-sickness deal. So when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play uh, Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, we are going to continue in dungeon number two as uh, we keep moving along closer in our journey to getting the hook shot, which is just gonna be fucking great. I I'm so excited for that. So until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I will, I you can guarantee it, I will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Take care. Don't get sick. Take your vitamins. You heard it here first. Bye.